Jeffree Star Cosmetics Company is slowly dying. Most of it is Jeffree's fault, but part of it is because of the pandemic and because of inflation. But also, you can really tell that Jeffree is not in love with business anymore. Every time he comes out with a new item, it's very, very boring and nothing interesting anymore. When he's coming out with something new, he is just using old colors that he has already used from certain palettes because the palette's makeup is not selling like it used to. So Jeffree Star launched two weeks ago his last mystery box and a lot of people are not happy with it because all of the mystery boxes are all the same. Nothing fun or exciting about these mystery boxes. He throws in a ton of eyeshadows because they're not selling and people really don't care about the single eyeshadow palette. It's going in the giveaway. A lot of giveaway items here today, you guys. I hope you all are excited for these. Sadly, I didn't get a palette. That's a little bit disappointing. This is the first time I've ever gotten a mystery box where there was no palette inside. So, what are my thoughts on this box? I think that this one, for me, was a little bit underwhelming, just simply because there wasn't a palette. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's disappointing. Although I will say, I feel like overall it was a good value. We got lots of single eyeshadows in here. Again, I am not organized enough to actually keep up with single eyeshadows. So those will be going in a giveaway. So what do you think of this box, Shannon? Um, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this box. I think some of the exclusive items were... A little disappointing when I think exclusive. I want an exclusive lip. I want, which he's done a million times. I like the exclusive blush. Mm -hmm. Um, and I definitely use it. I didn't need 37 more single eyeshadows. Didn't need an ink pen. And to me, an ink pen is not. I'm ordering from a beauty company. And an ink pen is not what I would think of having in the box. Like, the hat is fine, because he does do... Merch. He does do apparel merch. Um, if we had gotten some other kind of merch that he creates, I wouldn't be mad about that. But is he selling ink pens? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed myself. I know we get a palette every box. No palette. There was no palette. Not there, even a mini palette. No, and he's got three or four, you know, palettes that aren't terribly old that he could have surprised us with. There's the wedding palette, the gothic beach palette, the psychedelic palette, the mermaid, the mermaid palette, the scorpion Mushrooms. palette. That's the psychedelic. Oh, but the scorpion one. Like, yeah, I feel like he could have tossed a palette in here. Especially if this is his last box. Like, this is my last box. Go big or go home. Here you go, guys. Like, I just feel like he could have done a little bit more. I didn't get no skincare. None. Nothing. And a he's balm. Been, the lip balm is the closest He's been giving skincare out left and right. He left, yeah. La last few boxes. Um, Like you said, no merch other than the hat. I love the merch. Like, that for me, it makes the box no matter what it is. Right. We're always excited to get a t-shirt or a hoodie or... Yeah, I just felt really underwhelmed. Was this $85? It was $85. And they, the claim was... 260 265-ish, I think? I think so. I mean, I don't doubt the values there. But it's so, I am so really underwhelmed for yeah. last box. Underwhelmed is the right, is the right word for it. You're going to come to us with your last mystery box and give us a pen that probably cost you 25 cents to manufacture. So this is a half a palette's worth of eyeshadow. Like if these are $7 a piece and we got six of them. That's $42 there. That's the price of a palette. You could have given us a whole palette for the same price. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of random colors that aren't going to make a look. 
We have the keychain. This is to me like, this is better than getting those stickers. You guys remember when you used to have these, you start out with stickers and that would be, so if you got 10 things, the stickers would be one. Oh my God, people were so pissed. I'd rather have something like this. Um, so, all right, we have that. This, I, I don't think anybody wants. I think so many people complain about getting these singles, and he still, I guess because they don't sell, so I get why he puts them in a mystery box, but. Jeffree Star is very known for his fun and exciting mystery boxes. Everything in those mystery boxes this time just looked like everything that's not selling. Everything looked very cheap, except for that cat mirror. In my opinion, why is he coming out with cat mirrors when he doesn't even like cats? He's more of a dog person. Why didn't he come out with more dog mirrors or a different exclusive dog mirror since he does have his Jeffree Star dog business on the side, but also at the same time, people wanted his skincare, but he didn't throw in any of his skincare products. Also, people were very disappointed at because I guess normally he would put in his skincare products, but this time he didn't. Why do you guys think his last mystery box was so boring? But if you guys got a mystery box, what was your opinion? Jeffree Star's mystery boxes, and every time he would launch a new product, they would sell out in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, a couple of hours, but now it has taken two weeks for the mystery boxes to finally sell out. And Jeffrey just came out a couple days ago thanking everyone for supporting him and that his mystery boxes finally, finally sold out. But you could tell that Jeffrey does not love his business anymore. You could tell that he's very bored, that he doesn't really care about his makeup anymore. He's slowly letting his company die, but that's also because of his fault, because of his behavior, because of what he has done in the past. And people do not want to support a bully. They don't want to support someone who is always constantly mean and hating and bashing others online. If you guys have noticed, Jeffrey goes through friends like he goes through his underwear. He's constantly always blaming everyone else and never taking responsibility for himself and says everyone else is the issue. He always acts like he is perfect and unstoppable, untouchable, but finally people are done and sick and tired of him and not supporting him anymore. And karma is finally getting to Jeffrey. His business is dying. Jeffrey is also very irrelevant and nobody really cares cares about him anymore. But a small percentage is because of the pandemic, because of inflation, but also Jeffrey has done this to himself. Okay, I had to quickly come on here and just say thank you to everyone for supporting our brand new spring mystery boxes. They are a completely sold out every single unit. The limited edition liquid blush, liquid lipstick, the skin frost highlighting blush are all gone. They're in the boxes, the mirror, all the secret goodies. Thank you guys for supporting it. Um, it's been a magical, wild year already, and summer's approaching. There's a lot of rumors, Jeffrey. Are the mystery boxes going to be gone forever? They may be evolving into the next form, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. But in the meantime, we are going to throw up some mystery treats. We haven't done these in a while, and they were a massive hit during the holiday season. So there's going to be mystery treats on our website. There's also brand new makeup bags that launched check it out. What is your opinion overall about what's going on with Jeffrey's business? People also have been saying that this is his last mystery box, but Jeffrey just said that his mystery boxes are going to start evolving in the future. So what do you guys think that will look like? Do you think that they will be a lot more fun and exciting? And he also said that this year with his business, it has been magical. It has been blooming. But, but since his business is dying, Jeffrey has been having a ton of sales, trying desperately to make up for the lost money that he used to. So he's, so twice, twice, yep, we're gonna say that twice now, <laughs> twice, oh my goodness, I can't even talk right now, twice, twice, oh my goodness, 
two times now Jeffrey has flown to Los Angeles and done live sales where he goes on live on TikTok doing massive sales because he needs to try to get rid of his makeup before it expires and he doesn't have to waste a ton of money by the products just sitting there. So I'm not hating on Jeffrey, but at the same time, karma always works in mysterious ways. And a lot of people do love Jeffrey's formulas, but at the same time, he's very irrelevant, he's boring, No, there's no hype or excitement when it comes to Jeffree Star anymore. The reason why is because he's always on TikTok begging people for money because he's not making the same type of money that he used to his makeup company. And it really, really shows that he is going broke.